all right everybody on this video i am going to clean this up this is a brake booster and brake master cylinder this is for a 97 nissan pickup 95 i'm not real sure this might have actually came off of this 95 94 94 pathfinder um i've put a lot of truck parts on this so i'm not 100 percent certain what that actually came off of but we are getting there with this build i'm about ready to put the frame and everything get this back on the frame um i've not shot a video in a few weeks i have had a lot going on probably should have been working on this hood with a video i got a lot of fish eyes which i don't even know you can see a couple fish eyes here and there and a little bit of trash in this hood i'm not happy with how this hood has ended up but i'm gonna have to just push through this i ended up putting white pearl in here that i'm doing some of my stuff with white pearl and then i took a brush and i brushed silver along where it slopes down and then i painted the blue on top of that I, I did this before the blue as well i fought this back and forth and i've had a really hard time with it this stencil here i painted and it ended up bleeding through and then i ended up having to just spray the white and then the pearl white and then tape off what i did is i taped all of that off where i put the pearl white then i put this on and i drew my mark with a pencil and i came back with a razor and i cut it all out and then i pulled off my tape to paint the blue and once i painted the blue it covered the white real well the white wouldn't cover the blue very well so then I was able to peel off all of my tape and then I could clear it. My clear didn't work out like I wanted. I had some bugs and a little bit of trash. I think my trash is coming from my filters that are clogged up. What I was doing, that used to be the outside. This is a new addition on my shop. And what I was doing is rolling up this garage door sucking air through my filters and since they're dirty i think trash was falling straight down onto my hood when i was clearing and these turned out really good but they were done more in the middle of my shop where the pathfinder is now sitting and um, the bumper is up there it turned out really good too so I don't know um i think at this point it's gonna be like super hot all week i'm off for three days so i'm gonna try to get some of this stuff knocked out and some videos done for you there is a bug landed in it over here so i'm gonna have to cut this back down i went and bought some 800 grit i think i'm gonna use that one of my friends told me 600 might be better just to get all of this out of it but um, I've got some 500. I might hit it with 500 wet if this 800 isn't working out like I want. There's a lot of trash in that, so I gotta get it all out. And then uh, we'll be working on this, and I may go ahead and paint these other two wheels that I've got. This is my frame. Those are all four of my wheels that I'll need and then I've got a fifth one that is painted white and I've got another little thing that I'm going to try to put together to make all of this um, pretty much unstoppable I hope at uh, this stage I don't know was a Nissan Pathfinder unstoppable at a car show but it's not like a OBS or anything so uh, I don't know it's different but it may not have the wow factor of a full-size laid out 
anyway we're going to that is nasty we're gonna see if we can fix this hood and get that painted up I'm going to put I've got some stencils here I'm planning to put this stencil on the top right here just to give it a little kick so what I'm gonna do is just unbolt this master cylinder from that and I will take this hose off and then I will scuff this with probably a red scotch bright pad might as well take this off and lay it over to the side and none of this will be shown it will not be exposed to uh, anybody's view but I'm not even going to worry about taping that off I might scuff this and shoot it with some paint and uh, anyway I'll find something to lay this on and uh, get it ready for paint here I'll see if I can get those other wheels dragged around here too okay so I decided what I need to do is I cleaned the back side of the wheels up and I was fixing to paint them but I need to bore this center out so that they will fit over my hubs. Um, I'm going to make a new video about this. But I'm going to bore that out before I do any painting. I'll cut you back on. I got busy shooting that other video and I completely forgot about this video. But I laid in a light coat of white on the back side. Laid in a couple of light coats on these already. And this is the brake master cylinder. I went ahead and shot blue. I'm outside, so it cured out really quick. Maybe uh, 15 minutes has went by. And then I had to cut my template down because there was a bend right here. So I just tried to cut a straight line and put that straight line that I cut onto that edge. And I taped it around. And now I'm hitting it very lightly with white. And I'm going to let this sit in the sun for a minute. And then I'm going to hit it again. And I'm going to keep doing this and try to stack that white up a little bit to try to cover that blue. If I do a full coat, it seems to reactivate the blue. I learned that on the hood. And this does not have to be perfect. So it's just... Uh, under the hood and it's the brake master cylinder so hopefully I can get this lined out because I'm gonna be doing graphics down the side of this truck and it would be a lot easier to spray white last but I'm not sure I can do it and you're supposed to probably put a clear base in between this blue and this white so that it doesn't reactivate nearly so much. But I'm going to see if I can just put on several very light coats and get this to cover good. So I'm going to go ahead and hit these another time or two and I didn't clean them up real real well. Just the back side. I'm going to get the front side after we mount tires because I don't want them to get scratched up and have to redo them but uh all right I'm gonna make it going here with another coat all right that is four light coats I'm gonna let that sit for a few minutes right in this direct sun and we will untape it here in a minute and see if it bled out we got the wheels pretty much done here they're looking all right and uh these best i can tell i got them covered all right i'll cut you back on in a minute all right it is not perfect but it is very very nice i think for a brake booster i had a little bit of bleed through not bleed through it like uh overspray kind of blew through the uh the, the tape job that I had 
it got in right in here so I just dabbed some and uh, dabbed it around hopefully clear will cover that and it won't show even if it does show this points straight up so this is going to be pointing toward the engine most everybody will only see this area which the tape did mess up right here um, I'm gonna roll with it just get it done all right I'm gonna mix up some clear I didn't tell you what I was using I was using this blue is Orion and this is a gravity blue pearl and that is also Orion that is a white pearl and they just call it Orion pearl now what I'm going to use is the Orion Euro clear and that is a two to one we'll use this hardener and I was using slow base coat reducer that is their slow solvent I got my cup so I'm going to do two to one it's going to be hard for me to see so I will do that off camera mix that two to one stir it and I will shoot two coats and then I will be done for the day well with that all right Put you back on. Usually, I will use my. Um, I had, this is a Iwata Supernova. Usually, I use this for the clear WS400, but I'm not gonna break it up, get it dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and keep using this. This is a Sada Jet 3000. It will lay clear. So, this is a 1.3 tip gun. And that might not be enough clear but it'll get one coat we'll look at it here in a minute all right we got one coat of clear and there is you can see a visible something where I dabbed that on we're just gonna continue to roll with what we've got is popping all right and this white is gonna look nice this is just the back side of the wheel so not a big deal I'll go ahead and get these knocked out I'll get the front side later just trying to match these wheels this about 10 minutes out here in the sun and mix up some paint while I'm waiting I did run out so I'll mix up the same amount that I just did and we'll hit it one more time and as long as we don't have any runs this will be good to go all right I'm gonna tell you something you need to listen to it whenever you get done spraying and you think you've got it right but you've only got just a little bit of clear left and you want to spray the rest of your clear on your panel do not do that what you do is you just take it off and you throw your clear out in the trash. Save yourself some trouble. I have done it and I have failed at doing it. You will get a run. So that's what we've got. As long as this cures like that, I will be 100% satisfied. That is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous wheels turned out good they're blinding this color is so bright but I think they look really good and these you have to get them in the right light get the glare on them from the Sun but they look good no dry spots no runs that's exactly what we want I'm going to use lacquer thinner just a uh, cheap lacquer thinner it's not cheap it's like doubled in price in the last two years just like everything else 
I'm going to rinse my cup out, and I'm going to rinse my cup out, and I'm going to rinse my gun out, and then I'm going to spray a little bit through it to clean all of the air passages and everything up. And uh, I'll cut you back on. It should be dry here in just no time. Okay, I'm barely leaving any fingerprint, and I grabbed it up here, and my finger's really sticky. Um, pretty much, this is going to be like this. Even if a bug landed on it right now, it would not hurt it. So, I am perfectly fine with this. It's going to be great. Right there is where I had to dab on it, and... You can kind of tell, but you have to know it's there, so I'm fine with that. We're just going to say that this is all perfect at this point. You can pick these up and handle these. It's not even been an hour. I'm not going to mess with them too much. I'm going to let those cure out real good before I stick the emblems on. And then I'll set these down. I'll probably set them down before dark tonight so I don't get any dew on them tonight. And I uh, will come over here and work on this frame and try to get this where I can get the cab back on this. Maybe tomorrow. Got a couple other things going on tomorrow, so we'll see. But I will cut y'all back on later. Like, subscribe, whatever. Alright, bye-bye.